Elder Willie James Campbell mm. um, went home to be with the Lord. Yes. I talked about him a little on Sunday. I wanted to give you an opportunity to, to talk about Elder Campbell and, and St. James Church God in Christ. And he was like a distant, for us, a distant uncle. Mm -hmm. um, we used to go to, over his house when we were kids. Um, there was times when I would go to the radio station. We would go to the radio station with mm -hmm. Dad, and he'd be in the uh, studio teaching and stuff, yeah. and I'd stand there and, and everything. And he, we had access mm -hmm. to him. He is the one that, that helped keep me safe. <laughs> um, one of the best things that happened to us, which was the most worst thing that happened to him, was that the roof fell in on Roosevelt. When the roof fell in on Roosevelt, he moved to the state temple and was there 10 years and we could go to St. James and hear this man preach. He was the guy, um, I went to uh, Brother E.J. Lennox's funeral in December of 89 and he got up and preached about the 10 virgins and I had just started preaching when I was 16 and I was stood in that balcony and I looked at him and I told God, okay, that's what I want to do and that's how I want to do it. Mm -hmm. And I later told him that he thought that was funny, and I later found out that was a gift that God that that preaching gift that God had given him that and everything. But he gave me something to to aspire for, mm -hmm. and I will always be grateful for that. The the especially we you and I know the Bible as well as we do because we used to listen to hours of salvation on Saturday nights on, on Saturday nights. Um, Father Hayes would come Gospel in on Calvacate. Gospel Cavalcade would come on from five to seven, and Campbell came on from seven to ten. And WYCA, WYCA ninety two point three before it was the be double station, and, and before it was WYCA, we had WXFM. Right, right, right. We used right. to be on WXFM, right. and um, that's where Dad started off. Yeah. Morning going to gospel WXFM, and so uh, T. L. Bear was on WXFM. Mm -hmm. A whole bunch of folks was on WXFM. And around 8, maybe around 8.30, quarter to 9, he would do that Sunday school lesson. And, th I mean, there's an importance for Christian education. Yeah. People don't understand that. You know I mean? A lot of the churches now have become user-friendly. We go to, we go to um, Sunday service. We can get out probably an hour and 15 minutes and go about our way. Beyond that, you need teaching. Mm -hmm. You need discipleship. You need to. Oh, you can't always do that on a Sunday morning. Right. right. You need uh, Sunday morning is a lot of inspiration. Hey, Stormy. On 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 on, on uh, when Sunday school you have information. Yeah. You know, and so uh, I I learned the Bible mm -hmm. listening to him. Him talking about Samson and talking about the the, the Babylonians and 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 the, the the vision that Daniel had of the ten toes and mm -hmm. and all that. I mean. I learned that listening to him. It, it, it. I, I, did, I guess I didn't really know as much as a kid how much I was taking in, absorbing it, absorb, yeah, yeah, absorbing it. Yeah. But he was more than just a preacher. Um, he was a he, he was a pastor. He was a teacher. He was a bishop in the Lord's Church. And really, in the midst of Corona, Corona, and all that's going on, we really need a gift like that mm -hmm. to help pull us through. Mm -hmm. But I thank God for the season that I knew of him coming up in the in, in the 80s and the 90s and stuff because that preaching, that teaching kept me going. Yeah. 